Although guys in this tutorial you're going to create spikes so that our player is, is vulnerable to something and can actually die. So I made some spikes myself. You can see the link for the, the spikes in the description. And in all the tutorials will be all the files will be in the description. And as you can see here are the spikes, they are a little bit too small, but you know. I can just as I made with the the Indian guy, I can change its scale. Now let me see what are the the properties of this. Okay, it's 73 by 11. It's not that friendly, so you can simply change its its scale to 20 and its footy mode two points and its format to true color. Done. Now you can drag this, the spikes into the scene, not into our player properly. Here are our spikes, and now what we're going to do is if our player collides with the spikes, we're going to simply restart the scene for now, then we can change that. So to do that we're going to use the the trigger stuff, the trigger collider stuff. So first off, we're going to have to create to add the collider to the spikes. And let's go physics 2D. You can use a polygon collider, but and you can even change it. I don't know if you if you sh if you know that if you press shift and drag around, you can change it to something like this. But I don't think that's needed. You don't even need a, a polygon collider. You can you can use exactly a box collider, you know, and uh, make it a trigger. Okay, so open our player controller and let's get to it. We're going to have to create a new function, of course, which will handle the trigger enters, which means every time our player enters with its green collider. In the box collider of the spikes, something will happen. So, how can we do that? With this function on trigger enter 2D with the collider 2D parameter. So, void on trigger enter 2D with the parameter called collider 2D other. And what to do? Oh, now we want to know if what the player is colliding with is actually a, uh, a spike. So, to do that, we're going to have to add a, a, a tag to the spikes. So, let's do that right now. Add tag here, a spike tag. Click on the spikes again. Tag, spike tag. Okay, so. This other collider is basically the object that our player is, is colliding with. So if other dot tag equals spike, then we can what can we do? We can first off make tell us in the console that our player is dead, dead, and we can make our player our scene restart. And to do that, we're going to we use a, f uh, a method called application dot load level load level. And the level name will be inside the parentheses. So, to do, first off, to make it work, I'm going to have to go to File, Build Settings, and Add Current. Save this scene as something like Main Level or Test Ground. Test Ground. And as you can see, you have your 
seen over here. And now we just type this name into the parentheses. Test oh, with apostrophe or whatever you call it. Test rounds. In option with that you can also use this index over here, zero, which will do the exact same thing. Not wait. Save. And now let's see if it's working properly. Now oh, our player is moving fine. And when we go into the spikes, as you can see, the scene restarts. And we get this dead warning right here. Okay, I think that's it for today. In the next tutorial, I'm going to make some animations. It will be a little more complicated, but I have to do it anyways. And uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and goodbye.